Welcome to the Devon University of Technology in University of Tegwinios of Kopesh. The integrated institution-wide first-year student orientation is an integral of the Sigusegele We've Got You, a holistic student support initiative of Sia Pumelela, a collaborative effort of departments within the DUT ecosystem aimed at enhancing your campus experience and creating an enabling living collaboratively with the learning environment for students to pursue their academics and actively participate in the core curriculum. DUT itself, a developing university. Our strength is enhanced by the diversity of our cultures and traditions amongst staff and students. DUT, an institution with the proud heritage of academic, innovation, entrepreneurship and leadership excellence. The institution offers a broad spectrum of accredited academic qualifications. This range from certificate courses and national diplomas to bachelor's, master's and doctoral degrees. Clustered in the six faculties, namely Faculty of Accounting and Informatics, Faculty of Arts and Design, Faculty of Applied Sciences, Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, Faculty of Health Sciences, and the Faculty of Management Sciences. DUT is geographically divided into seven campuses, spread across the Devon and the Midlands centers. Steve Bigo Campus, courses within the Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment and the Faculty of Applied Sciences are on this campus. The Steve Bigo campus has the Department of Student Counseling and Health, which offers four services to promote and support student mental and physical health. The Student Counseling Center, the Careers Resource Center, the HIV and AIDS Center, and the Isolempilo Campus Health, which provides daily public health care services, family planning, and HIV testing and counseling. The Steve Bigo campus also has the Department of Student Housing and Residence. This will be your home away from home. The department provides accessible, affordable accommodation conducive to learning in a safe and healthy environment, whilst providing opportunities for resident student empowerment and advancement. The residence advisors and the house committee representatives ensure that your personal, social and academic development is achieved through participation in proactive programs. The library. The DUT library is a multi-site service, providing library and information services in all DUT campuses, inclusive of workshops in academic literacies, referencing, plagiarism and book loans. You may also access the Student Academic Support and Development Unit of the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. This unit is also situated in the library and it offers academic and psychosocial support through the Residence Educational Program, First Year Student Experience and Academic Advising. Written Campus, a course within the Faculty of Health Sciences and the Faculty of accounting and informatics are based on this campus. The written also has campus protection offices, hotel school and the chiropractic, homeopathy, somatology and dental clinics. Amo Sultan Campus. This campus housed the Faculty of Management Sciences and its courses. Other offices such as the Inobiz, DUT Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Center for Social Entrepreneurship, Finance, Caches, the BM Patel Library, Alumni Relations and Development, City Campus, a home for creatives. This campus has the Faculty of Arts and Designs. All other student services and academic support departments are also available on this campus. Brickfield Campus, an extension of Faculty of Arts and Design. Students within the Department of Fashion and Textile study on this campus. The Midlands Center is made up of two campuses, namely Indomiso Campus and Riverside Campus. Indomiso Campus is located right at the heart of 
in Bali Township. This campus has the School of Education, Nursing and Civil Engineering together with the Information Technology. All student services and academic development departments such as Indomiso Library, Student Housing and Residence Life, InnoBiz, DUT Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Sport Administration, Student Academic Support and Development Unit, Finance and Caches, Student Counseling and Health, and Financial Aid. Riverside Campus Riverside Campus is located at Scottville. This campus has eight academic departments, namely Applied Management Sciences, Ecotourism, Public Management, Human Resource Management, Cost and Management Accounting, Public Relations and Communications Management, Business Information Systems, Business Administration, Financial Accounting, and all Student Services and Academic Support Departments. All our academic and support staff members are well trained and well equipped to ensure a smooth campus experience and holistic support throughout your academic journey. Greetings to our first year students of 2022 and our parents, if you're still around, we welcome you too. My name is Ali Zirambambo and I'm the marketing assistant at InnoBiz Durban, though we do have an InnoBiz in PMB as well. I'm here with my very beautiful colleague. Thank you so much, Sis Ali Zewe, Sanbonani, Kamalam Gulungele, Ngwagan Gobo, Siana Mkela, New Vez, Yase Tigwini, Yezo Kepese. Um, today we are on our day four of our program for our first year students orientation for the year 2022. So we are having it in year to 80 be engaged. Um, in the past few days, this Alizi, where, well, let's go back to day one when we had our Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Mtembo, who gave us um, the welcome address. Um, thank you so much, Uguti. Our parents were there even on that day. Mm -hmm. And this year, Bongu Uguti, they are still here today. If it's yes, yes, we are very grateful for the Vice Chancellor giving us that wonderful talk that wonderful opening address that was amazing and beautiful and our parents for attending and then we had our day two which was becoming a DET student mm. that was another great one and I'm sure those who are just becoming students at DET I'm sure you found that informative and maybe even exciting Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then on our day three, we were giving you the glimpse of what happens on campus, mm -hmm. the campus life here at DUT. So today, guys, is obesity, be engaged. Let us learn the many things that are, are available at DUT for you to, to be supported, for you to, yeah. to, to be engaged in every other aspect of your life as you become a DUT student. Yes, of course. And being engaged obviously means interacting and knowing who to speak to with regards to what, and just knowing that there's always a place to turn to. There's always people around you. There's always support. There's mm -hmm. always, you know, people that you can engage with. Yes, and this is Alizua is one of those people that you are going to find in one of their offices when you need any assistance with when it comes to Inopis. So we are saying in Peter Maritzburg we do have one and in Durban we do have one. Mm -hmm. So let us go and take you through the program of the day. Thank you. And for today's session, to kick it off, we have our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Research, Innovation and Engagement, our Professor Sibusi Somoyo, who will be giving us our welcoming speech. Over to you, Prof. Welcome to DUT, everyone, and special greetings to all our first years and uh, first time entry students to the university. My name is Sibusiso Moyo. I'm the DVC for Research, Innovation, and Engagement. And you may be wondering what that is about. Under the Research, Innovation, and Engagement portfolio, we have a number of programs which you will find interesting during your time at the university. Um, we have introduced, for instance, um, what I think is the most innovative program as a University of Technology, which is called Supporting Undergraduate Research Excellence. And in this, you are, um, have an opportunity as a student to take part in research, in a research group. Uh, it influences the teaching methodologies that our staff use. Um, it makes you think 
um, you know, about the things that you could do in your community, in your environment, to transform the environment you are in, to contribute to the community, and also to produce solutions which may help you in going forward. So I really want to thank you that you have chosen DUT. As you know, DUT is one of the top five universities. We are highly ranked in terms of our citations, of the research that we do, um, the impact of that research, um, in terms of the knowledge that people produce, and how that knowledge is used in the country and globally as well. So you have made the right choice to come to DUT. As a student, you'll find that, especially in first year, there'll be many challenges. I mean, there are many opportunities to have lots of fun, but there are also many challenges. But I would urge you to keep on you know, pushing yourself, uh, pushing the boundaries. You'll find that you might come across financial challenges, accommodation challenges. There are all sorts of challenges. But if you focus on the challenges, rather than trying to find the solutions, it may be difficult for you to achieve your goals. So as part of the research innovation engagement portfolio, we urge you to make use of the university in terms of um, uh, taking part of, of in the programs that we offer you. For example, we host the DUT Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, called INOBIS, which uh, will allow you to take part in programs which would help you to start a business at the end you know, of your career. You can start the business, of course, while you're studying, but we expect you that you know, by the time you graduate, you can at least have your own company, you can be your own boss. And speaking of entrepreneurship, um, it is important to say that, uh, you know, in my experience myself as a mathematician, as somebody who was an academic and then now in management, and also, you know, a parent, is that it's very important to apply entrepreneurship to all aspects of your life. So the first point I want to make, and I'll just give you, you know, five key points which you could take away. The first point is about, you know, be your own boss. Um, um, and I'm not talking here about starting your own company, but really relying on yourself, setting an agenda for yourself so that you know where you want to go and be urgent about it. Don't wait for somebody to tell you what to do. Unlike school, in the university environment, nobody will send you a reminder to say it's lecture time now. The bell might not ring when you expect it to ring. So if you oversleep, um, you know, uh, nobody will really try to wake you up from your oversleeping. So I'm just saying that you know the one thing you need to do is around self-agency, being your own boss, managing your time, and not just following crowds and peer pressure just for the sake of following uh, you know, others. Um, the second point is really being focused and disciplined. And discipline and focus are not very easy you know, to come by. It's something that you have to practice you know, in terms of making sure that you do your assignments, you do your work on time. Um, that you also, you know, find time, of course, to rest and relax, but, you know, in that relaxation time, find time to do the creative things that you can do within your university, within the university environment as well. Um, and then also try to network uh, beyond the studies that you are doing. We offer a number of programs, and you find that uh, the university, for example, currently we have what we call the Luban Workshop, where we have uh, the 3D printing, um, and also we offer some programs that are quite exciting. We have the 3D Experience platform, which has been offered through a partnership between DUT and the French uh, government. And even through that, you can you know, have a chance to um, experience and learn skills which you'd normally uh, not learn from uh, your, uh, attending a normal class. So I'd really encourage you, you know, to look out, uh, to get involved in something. The other thing is we do offer community engagement programs, and I think for me it's important for you to really try to look at what opportunities you can you know, uh, come across. If you look at the environment you're in, whether it's in the university or the community you come from, there may be opportunities where you can take part in programs where you can make impact on others as well. For example, one of our most prominent programs right now is the school engagement program. We do go out to a selected schools uh, where we reach out to students who may be struggling in the maths and science area, and even engineering. We have a group of students, uh, level six uh, students, who uh, also help us as part of our school engagement program, the Center for Nonviolence, um, uh, that also contributes to that, our corporate affairs, you know, um, the alumni, and uh, all the six faculties that we host as a university. Um, our six faculties are a flagship program. Um, the engineering faculty, for example, you know, applied sciences, there's the health sciences, accounting and informatics, the management sciences, arts and design. All these faculties offer tailored programs which will really help you and, and give you the advantage as, as a student, a graduate of the university, to go into industry. Uh, the, the, the fourth area which I think is important is, you know, as a student, it is also very important to 
to think you know, about the end game, which is about you know, when I get my degree, then what is next? So as a university, what we've done from the research innovation engagement portfolio is we do also offer placement programs. And we, uh, during your degree, and for some of the programs, the way they are designed is that you, are, you may be required to do some experiential learning. So we have uh, what we call the cooperative education directorate, which you should be able to also reach out to so that you can, you know, just find out if there are opportunities for internships or doing something, because that experience is also important. So during the holidays, instead of just hanging around, you know, just, you know, uh, chatting or just going for movies, please make use of that time to see if you can do some work which will give you experience. It adds to your CV. And I would also urge you, uh, you know, to look out also for um, these leadership programs which we offer as a university. They are open to students. We do take uh, uh, smaller groups of students during the year. So when you have a chance, take part, of, take part in those programs as well because they're also good for your CV and also just learning from others who've gone through the same journey. Um, you must also try to make contact with our alumni and engagement office, which uh, really also offers interesting mentorship programs. So if you need a mentor and you know that you know, you're really struggling, you need someone to talk to, please feel free to reach us. Uh, the Advancement and Alumni Relations Office uh, on the website, uh, they will have their address there. And uh, the director of that uh, directorate, uh, um, Mr. Zwakele, uh, is very helpful and they reach out to a number of students in terms of both mentorship and sometimes you know if there's enough donor funding we are able to help students who are struggling also meeting their financial commitments in terms of the tuition. Um, then the other area really I want uh, maybe to touch on is you know as a university we offer you know when you are on campus obviously you have uh, access to Wi-Fi. Now Wi-Fi uh, you may argue that well you know we pay for it but uh, uh, we, we are very generous with the Wi-Fi and even, uh, you know, the access that we give to students on campus and then those of you who also be studying remotely at home. Please use that Wi-Fi and access to data, uh, you know, wisely. A lot of students sometimes, you know, they'll spend it using, um, watching movies, yeah. Yes, maybe once in a while, but the thing is that that data is meant for your schooling. So if you are watching a YouTube video which is going to teach you a skill in your course or something that educates you, uplifts you, then that's great. Please make use of those resources. Don't use the data just for movies <clears throat> or just you know downloading games and so forth and then really uh, jeopardizing, jeopardizing your access to uh, you know, learning materials. Uh, which you shouldn't uh, shouldn't be the case. So I would like to encourage you, you know, to be very, um, uh, you know, um, uh, mean with your time, to be a bit selfish with your time, so that you use that time wisely and the resources that you are given wisely. Um, and then the last thing that I could say is that you know, um, there's also uh, the issue about if you look at uh, the university where we are now, uh, we we have a strategy which we call Envision 2030, and you might have heard this maybe from the other speakers as well talk about it. Under that strategy, we have four perspectives, okay, which are stewardship. We've got uh, you know sustainability, systems and processes, and then we've got society as well. There are four of them, but normally around stewardship, as our students, we expect you to act with integrity in everything you do. So, you know, and that's why I talked about preparing well in terms of your assessments as well. We don't want you to cheat. If you are caught cheating, of course, uh, you know, there are penalties for that, but we want you to act with the utmost integrity. So around research, we offer workshops which are open, and these workshops are open to everybody, whether you're undergraduate or postgraduate, because we are also pushing that our undergraduate students are uh, take part in research. So we want you to do this ethically. So it's the same when you're preparing for your assignments. Make sure that you, you, know, you make reference to the materials that you're using. Don't just use materials without acknowledging, especially if you're getting them from some website or, or sources um, you know, uh, from, from the, uh, your, the web pages which are not cited. Make sure you cite that information, but please do not plagiarize. Do not steal other people's work and pretend that it is yours. Uh, because uh, it is against our values as a university. So it's very important for you to familiarize yourself with our uh, strategy and our values. So um, I think that's an important point to make. So as you journey yourself in the first year, I really urge you to really make use of the university. And the only thing I might leave you with is to say, you know, um, I, I think one of the biggest challenges where we are right now is youth unemployment. Many graduates are unemployed. 
And so the first thing you also need to think about as you come to DUT is to think about the end game. After my degree, then what? So the then what we are trying to intervene now is that, um, you know, uh, make sure you reach out to our, you know, entrepreneurship center. There is a call out right now which is open. So if you're a registered student, you should be able to, um, you know, participate. Uh, we are recruiting students for entrepreneurship. There, there's, uh, you know, if you don't know what you want to do or whether you want to become an entrepreneur or not, you are still welcome to attend because after that program and the boot camp, you will know, I mean, whether you really want to go this route or not. But I would encourage you to, to do that because if you can be able to start up your own enterprise, um, you know, and uh, grow it over time, uh, it will give you a better opportunity to be less dependent on somebody employing you. You can also become an employer. And we've got good examples of students who've started up their own enterprise, who are able to employ others and are making a profit. So there are some graduates we can show you by example who have done that successfully. And so it's not just talking from theory. So please um, look out for other opportunities, uh, study hard. Uh, there is no recipe to success apart from just hard work. Um, I wish there was a magic way of doing this. Um, and then maybe as a parent again, I will probably say that, you know, for those of you who've come and you don't yet have boyfriends or girlfriends, maybe keep it that way for some time, especially in first year, because you really want to find yourself. It's good to have friends, but really, I think don't commit yourself too early because you know uh, there's a lot uh, beyond the first year. So the first year you just want to have a great time, you know, understand what subjects you want to do, where you want to go, um, but don't start suffering from heartbreaks because somebody broke your heart or somebody uh, did this or that. So yeah, that's the best thing I, I really can leave you with. So yeah, so I've probably rounded up and maybe summarizing that, you know, don't miss out on an entrepreneurship offering because we really want our people to be innovative and entrepreneurial. Don't miss out on community engagement opportunities, uh, the volunteer program where you can also take part. Um, don't miss out on, on our internationalization exchange opportunities. You know, our students are able to, uh, those of, uh, of uh, our students who are successful are able to go on international exchanges. Don't miss out on opportunities for industry placement where possible. Use your holidays to do something. If it's not a community engagement uh, piece of work, you could, uh, you know, um, at least do some, you know, industry-related work where you're getting paid for it. Don't miss out for that. Um, yeah, and, uh, and then also work hard uh, because in the end, um, you know, it is just about you and your focus and, you know, what, how you make use of this environment. And then I leave you with a quote. Um, I, I know that uh, we might have different religions, but I think I should just uh, say that, you know, the, the one quote I really like to use is this one that says that, um, you know, commit all your plans uh, to God and you will succeed. It's from Proverbs 3, verse 16. Um, and I think it applies to really uh, everyone, really, that, you know, if you commit to your plans and you pray about it, you will succeed. Nothing can stop you from succeeding. You'll come across many hurdles, many, many uh, challenges, but you can overcome those challenges with the support uh, systems that are there, you know, your parents, friends, family, and those that are around you. So thank you very much, and I wish you the very best on your journey at DUT. Thank you. Thank you so much to Prof Moyo for that wonderful welcome address for our first year students. Um, colleagues, we are moving on to the next segment, which is the Innobis Center. Uh, it's going to be uh, presented by Umis Nontogo Zongobo, who is, by the way, my sister, but again, um, over to you, Ms. Nobo. Hi, my name is Mzwandi Lekumalo, and I'm from the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, which is abbreviated as CELT, and particularly from the Student Support and Development Unit. Mm -hmm. So today I'm joined by Ms. Ngobo, who is the manager for the InnoBees DUT Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. How are you, Ms. Ngobo? I'm good, Mzoa. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Um, well, it's a lovely, lovely morning today. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have our first year students who are watching uh, mm -hmm. this session. Mm -hmm. So I just want you to explain to our first year students who is InnoBees and okay. what are you guys offering to our students? 
Well, Mzwandile, thank you so much for that question. Uh, Inobiz is an umbrella center for all the DUT entrepreneurial units. So currently we have Inobiz uh, Midlands, we have Inobiz Devon Campus, we have Inobiz Inactus, and we have Inobiz CSE, which is Center for Social Entrepreneurship, focusing mm. more on um, uh, social enterprise development and support. Uh, what do you do to our social, to, to our first year? So today, because we're talking to our first year uh, student, I just want to simplify this and say we provide entrepreneurial support, uh, both theoretical and practical learning um, and uh, support, business support to any student who is interested. As long as you are a DT student, you are interested in one day being your own boss or running your business or being an entrepreneur for that matter. So we provide support, we walk the journey, our approach is more practical than theoretical, but it's a combination of both. But we focus more on working the journey, holding you by your hand. You are here at university, you are registered as now, you are now a registered DUT student. You can now visit our center, our offices, which are in uh, the Midlands, uh, in Domiso campus, block seven, and the other one at Riverside. And in Devon, we have um, 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 uh, ML Sultan, uh, B Block, um, and uh, also the Inectus office is also at ML Sultan and Center for Social Entrepreneurship. So basically we provide the business support where a student walks in having an idea um, of this business idea uh, that he wants to develop and um, explore. We assist you from uh, that point of view where we start you from actually assisting in unpacking that idea. Is it feasible? Is it, is it relevant? Is it mm. profitable? Because uh, student comes with a lot of ideas and also in the process allows the student to make a mistake because Business, the more you practice, the more you make mistakes, the more you learn. So this is the safer environment for our DUT student to actually uh, 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 lay a strong foundation on the entrepreneurial journey uh, with us as a center being support of um, our, our student uh, entrepreneurs. Mm. So one may ask, if the kind of services that you, I mean, it, it's, it's a very, very brilliant idea, I think, mm. uh, that DET is actually offering to our students, particularly mm. because uh, as embedded in our strategic direction, mm. we do not want to produce students who just qualify in whatever disciplines mm. that they are in, mm. but we definitely want them to also actively participate in core curricular activities mm -hmm. that grooms them and that grows them and develops them holistically mm. to become the best that they can actually be and contribute beyond just DUT, but also into the communities that they are servicing. Mm -hmm. So you spoke about giving seed funds mm -hmm. to students. Is this a form of an uh, uh, investment? Is it a form of a loan? Do students need to pay this money back? And what kind of businesses really that students can present uh, with? Because it's, it's very broad, you know? Mm -hmm. One may think I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a creative writer or I'm, I'm innovative or whatever that I do. So a low bid maybe on the kind of businesses and kind of uh, entrepreneurial skills that you offer to the students and what you look for really. Well, you've just touched on a very crucial point of um, the entrepreneurship being embedded into or being um, in our roadmap as the University and Vision 2030, which mm. speaks of uh, now producing uh, students that are entrepreneurial, innovative, um, and adaptable. So um, it's not only for um, the students to own their business, but also if you look at the industry, the mm. industry has been complaining that what the universities are producing is no longer relevant because even True. in the market, yes. Yes. they want an entrepreneurial mindset. Someone will understand the profit, someone will understand the, um, um, the what you call, someone will understand the time management of the business, yeah. the productivity mm. of mm. the company where, where we call those, where he's working, where we call those, these are entrepreneurs 
engineers, you are employed, but you have an entrepreneurial mindset. So what services do we offer? We offer a variety of um, programs, um, some with an aim to ignite entrepreneurial knowledge. Yes. Uh, for someone who says, you know what, a business, it's a lot of work, but I just want to understand basic business. Mm. So we have various programs like your design thinking, your critical thinking. Critical thinking is required these days. It's a number one requirement, especially with so much challenging times that we are living in. We have to have uh, innovative thinking as well. True, so yeah. we have your lean canvas models that spike someone to think beyond the mm. norm mm. Uh, uh, then, uh, and all also uh, be creative at mm. all times, even mm. when you are woken up at night, there is a problem, you have to be innovative, you are at home. So companies these days, they want this person who also yes, has true, yeah. the, 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 the entrepreneurial mindset. Uh, but to those who want to set up their own businesses, we have a program in our incubation program, which is, which is in four phases, starting with the ideation where you walk in and uh, you have this beautiful idea, but you don't know where to from this idea. A lot of people have ideas, but if the idea is not supported, mentored, um, it is as good as not being there. So mm. we provide that support also. Interrogate this idea that you have, uh, checking the feasibility, checking the, uh, how long, if it will stand in the market, the, the business, it's a tough world. True, so yeah. uh, we ask you tough questions and, mm. um, and make, give you tough if exercises. I ask what kind of questions would you ask? Like <laughs> For example, what problem is this idea solving? Are you mm. solving, a, why? So why it needs to control contribute to the larger society. It can't just be something that you wake up really just thinking that you can make money out of it, but it really should contribute in advancing humanity and advancing uh, uh, the societies where we are coming from. Yes, not only that. <clears throat> so we encourage our students that you need to sell convenient. So like you just asked me, what type of questions? What convenient? Yeah. <laughs> How are you making someone's life easier with your product? Oh, yes. So it's not just yes. coming up with the product that, you know, I'm selling this and, mm. um, you know, we, it, uh, what solution? Are you bringing? Yeah. Are you bringing? Because mm. your profit lies with convenience. You see, there's a lot of online buying these days uh, because we don't want to be in the shops. We don't want to find ourselves in the malls, especially after COVID. And um, everything that we find now, we find it, we buy it at the tip of our hand. Yes. So we encourage our students to go to think out of the box. Break the box and just mm. think, think wild. So in that stage, that's where innovating thinking is actually, actually activated. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And then once we show we've laid a good foundation on the ideation phase, then we can start looking at the issue of uh, putting systems in place for the business, the compliance. If your business requires industry, um, um, uh, industry, compliance, uh, we then assist you with that, register your business and start profiling your mm. business, profiling you the service so that when you take it out, you take it out there, it's, it's, it's straight to the full point, your target market is well defined, you know mm. who you sell, you're selling your, your, your product to. So yeah, so then phase two is the incubation. Now you have at least a list of two or three uh, service providers um, mm. for your company. Are you helping me to find the clients and service providers or uh, as an entrepreneur, I need to do the groundwork for myself? Yes, you need the groundwork. So that is why yeah. the first two phases are crucial Yes, because that's where we're going to define the client. It's the drawing board. It's, it's the, the drawing, drawing board. board. Yeah. It's your roadmap throughout. We need to do that right and uh, we need to know who is your target market for this why? Mm. And also, how are you reaching out to the market? How are they going mm. to know about your product? Mm. So that's where we lay that foundation, which if you skip that foundation, that element in business, even when you, you've gone a long way, you will always be confused selling something to mm. everyone who's not mm. your target market mm. um, and um, having selling everything as well. Uh, but once that uh, phase is done right, we, you know exactly when if you wake you up at night, uh, you know who's the target market, if it's the um, 
the high class people, your product is expensive, you're targeting people that can afford, you're not gonna waste your time advertising it to yes. Uh, yes. other people, you're just gonna focus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, very interesting. So how do we contact you? How do we contact uh, InnoBee's DUT Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation? Um, we have our Facebook page, our social media handles, which one of them, the main one is uh, um, InnoBiz Duty Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, which is an overall and umbrella social media. And then mm. each unit has also um, uh, the social media handles, like we yes. have InnoBiz uh, Duty Midlands, we have InnoBiz Duty Devon, we have InnoBiz Enactus, we have InnoBiz CSE, or Center for Social entrepreneurship um, and then we have our email address where you can um, just uh, click um, uh, send an email uh, on innobiz at dut.ac.za uh, and lastly each unit uh, when you go to their social media handles your instagram um, your facebook your linkedin uh, there is a whatsapp number there that you can just chat start chatting with the the unit if you are based in Marysburg or based in uh, devon you just um, go to their uh, social media handle in devon and then you'll find the whatsapp number just uh, yeah it's 24 hours available there's someone waiting to assist you there but for you as a first year student we encourage encourage you that you settle first, uh, you're welcome to visit our offices to see what we are to offer and also we work closely with CALT as you can see, mm. um, um, we'll be having uh, first year programs uh, yes, together with yes, you like this definitely. one, yeah. uh, just to share with you what else is available within the university and use this period to uh, capitalize on these free resources provided by the university uh, to actually empower yourself, develop yourself and uh, come out of the university not only with your diploma or degree or master's, but also there are students mm. from our programs on Dele that, that comes out with uh, at least a million. It's a diploma. Oh, really? Yes. And a million rand. And a million rand. Okay, and very million. interesting. And because of capitalizing to the opportunities like this, I remember mm. at some stage uh, we took some of our students to uh, the U.S. We, we, we exchange programs, uh, yes. international yes. exchange programs, yes. which are also a great of opportunity for exposure and because exposure mm. is one of the, the the impactful way of learning yes, um, yes. Uh, once you're exposed you come back thinking differently and, and you are touching on a very critical point there on locality mm -hmm. uh, making sure that the students and the caliber of students that we produce at DUT are not only relevant at a local scale yes so as students are also thinking of entrepreneurship they cannot just think of you know those little township businesses that mm -hmm. we see but we want them to really think out of the box mm -hmm. and to think businesses that can go and that can be recognized even internationally exactly. so yeah maybe a little bit just because i want to entice students and i want them to really develop interest in this which other countries have you you mentioned us mm -hmm. which other countries do you take students to We've taken students to Ireland for one of the entrepreneurship programs that mm. we have with some of the universities in Ireland. We've taken them to Thailand. There's um, um, a global entrepreneurship boot camp with over 36 nice. countries where the DUT students were part of that boot camp, which was exciting. And those students are never the same again. Yeah. Um, yeah. There are other programs that we have in partnership with China. We have a program mm. with um, um, uh, China as well that we running through its office uh, in Devon uh, called uh, China. Chinese Confucius mm. Institute, uh, which is a very uh, uh, a great program, entrepreneurs exchange program. You get to learn how Chinese are doing business and how, because there are things that we also very good at in Africa. Yeah, very but true. But we yeah. just need to realize how powerful we are mm. and uh, ex ex explore that and uh, capitalize on that as well. So mm. th there's just a vast uh, b b uh, number of uh, programs and uh, opportunities available within the center. Uh, you come in, just 
coming to inquire about your, your business, but the minute you walk in here, you realize that there's just so many opportunities, there's so many partners, uh, including locally, we have our local uh, business support agencies that, part, that have partnered with us, including your uh, NYDA, your DTI, the banks, which bank is the best in business? We, you know, all those decisions, you are mm. assisted, you are mentored. Mm. The market for your business, what else? Because when you meet with your peers as well, the mentorship is crucial. Yes. The other funding, yes. external funding, and also understanding the, the, the basics that makes businesses sustainable, yeah. which mostly starts with you as the owner or as the champion of your business. True. What yeah. do you need to do in terms of personal development mm. now? Because mm. you also have a responsibility where you have to look at yourself and look at your weakness. Do the sort the personal sort analysis mm, i'm good at this mm. i'm not good at this how do i close that gap so this is an all-in-one kind of um, um a pool of information uh, in partnership sometimes with our internal dut partners yes, um, yes. Uh, where we when we see that we don't have this resource we tap into each other's mm. uh, resources and capabilities just mm. to empower you as our duty students mm. so yes well i think I think that was a very mouthful. So thank you very much. You have heard it from the lady herself. There's a lot that is happening here at DUT, and I'm sure you already are excited to be part of this family with the whole array of services that we actually offer you um, as DUT students. So I believe there's a way that you would like to end uh, this interview by, mm -hmm. and um, I believe it's a, it's a hashtag. Mm -hmm. So maybe let's just do it. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, we let's just do it. So we are InnoBees DUT Center for. Okay, let's say Okay, let's say we are InnoBees DUT Center for Entrepreneurship. We are InnoBees DUT. Okay, InnoBees. Inspire, innovate, create. Oh, basically, InnoBees DUT and Vision 2030. Yeah, see me again, Vision 2030. So, yeah. So, this is a T? We are InnoBees DUT. Versus Inspire. Versus Inspire. Inspire. We inspire. We, we, we inspire, inspire, innovate, and create. Inspire, innovate. We help you inspire. Get inspired, innovate, mm. and create. create. Okay, so we're taking it from? We inspire? Which we are in obese D U T. We are so in obese D. Economy. Okay, or we can say we are in obese D. We are in obese U. We are in obese T. Yes, 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 we are in obese D U T. Okay. Or you can say that, and then missing it. Mina, we inspire, we innovate, we create. We okay. 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 All right. Uh -huh. All right. So you have heard it from. The lady herself, and I think that was a very informative and mouthful interview. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure students, you already are excited wherever you are. You see that we have a lot that we offer to you as a student, not just, you know, you to sit in the classroom and, and do nothing thereafter. But we actually want you to also participate in projects such as what the inner piece is actually uh, offering. So Why did them Zwandele in projects? We have practical learning spaces yes. that the university has established, which includes the agri-hub, oh, yes. the technology yes. hub. We have students that are running agricultural operations supported mm. through the hub, the technology operations uh, supported through um, the technology hub. Mm. We are yet to establish the art hub. So it's exciting. Okay. There's just so many things exciting. So those who are in fashion design, who are in creative fashion writing, hub. they also yes. going to have their own. Very exciting, yes. very exciting stuff. So I hope you are ready to start this journey with us. We're going to be with you for the next three or four years. So mm -hmm. really take this opportunity seriously yes. and come out as a millionaire. Yes. Come yes, out as yes. an entrepreneur. All right. So I believe there's a way that we need to end our interview. And uh, um, as we always say, we are in Obis D. We are in obese U, we are in obese T, which is in obese D U T. D -U -T. And we what do we do? We inspire you, we innovate with you, we create with you. All we're right. We're here to support 
you. Yes. So look out for these opportunities and use them for your own benefit. Thank you so much to Ms. Ngobo for introducing to us the Innovis Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Now we're going to move on to our next sector, the Advancement of Alumni Relations, which is going to be introduced to us by the, the Director, Mr. Zwagele Ngubane. Over to you, sir. Greetings and welcome to you, the parents and first year students to the Durban University of Technology. My name is Zwagel Ngubane and I'm the Director of Advancement and Alumni Relations here at DUT. So I'm here to just briefly tell you a bit about the Advancement and Alumni Relations Office. The Advancement and Alumni Relations Office focuses on two primary areas. Advancement really speaks to fundraising, where we do our best as an office to work with the various departments at DUT, as well as external partners, to raise funds to assist in the various initiatives that we might wish to engage in as the university in assisting our students, as well as our various stakeholders. So that takes care of the advancement aspect. The second aspect speaks to alumni relations. Now, you may not know this, but when you graduate from DUT, you become an alumnus, and in plural, we refer to that as alumni. So it is our responsibility as an office to ensure that we keep the relationship going with you after you graduate. So as first year students, we will be engaging with you as you progress through the years, uh, whether you're doing your diploma, whether you're here for your degree. But once you graduate, that is when we really engage with you as an alumnus of DUT. We will then ensure that we keep the relationship going for various initiatives that we might wish to partner with you on. We wish you well in your academic year as well as your studies and we hope that we will see you soon. Take care. A very good day everyone. My name is Anel Mkize and I'm joined here by Mr. Simpiwe Begwa uh, who is a part of a program, a student program in Ectas. Um, and we'll hopefully we answer all the questions you have and we hope to see you in Mr. Begwa's chair one day. Uh, so Mr. Begwa, will you explain what is Inectus? Thank you for the question. My name is Sipiwe Begwa. I just completed Diploma in Ecotourism Management in Riverside in Midlands. Uh, I'm the current head of marketing and communication in Enectus. Enectus is an international network of students, academic and business leaders who have made a commitment to create a better and more sustainable world through social entrepreneurship in both community projects and sustainable entrepreneurship startup with a focus of the United Nations Sustainable, sustainable Developmental Goals and the triple bottom line, people, planets, and profit. Well, that's very interesting that you talk about sustainability. Sustainability is very important, especially with global warming and everything happening. So it's a very interesting um, program. So what programs are, is Enectus a part of? There, there, are, there are many problems. Uh, we have four problems. Oh, speaking of sustainability, mm. that's my middle name as I'm doing ecotourism management. We are specializing in that in our, mm. in our qualification. We've got four programs. We've got Imbe, we've got Agribusiness, we've got Tumlilo, we've got Phoenix. With Phoenix, it's where we, we, we go and take the, the soap that is left out in the hotel. Then we've got a lab in ML Sultan. We there at the lab we make a dishwasher, a multi-purpose cleaner, and a toilet detergent. With Agribusiness, we are we, we have made the green houses. With that, uh, we are trying to develop e sustain farming in our communities. Mm -hmm. It is where we teach our communities how to plant seedlings and how to plant and how to make their businesses and how to manage their businesses. Well, that's very interesting. Um, it seems like this program encourages innovation uh, with all the things you are doing. But I think you've already answered this question, but may you also tell the students further what has Enectus achieved? Enectus was number one in South Africa in 2019. Mm. We won the, the competition, national competition, and NXS went and represented South Africa in UK. World Cup NXS. And in 2020, we were the runners up, and in 2021, we were the runners up too. Ooh, it seems to be a lot of challenging, very competitive. Um, and how is NXS part of Envision th uh, 2030? As I've explained that we are educating communities how to start businesses, how to, how to, how to manage or sustain their 
well-being. Mm -hmm. And Vision 2030 speaks with the people uh, in DOT, students, and the community where DOT is, is situated. Our aim is to educate our communities, our students, our members, that they should invest in themselves as entrepreneurs, and we are investing in communities on entrepreneurship and having more skills so that they will be able to create jobs for themselves. Mm, and not only are they investing in themselves, but the environments as well. Yes, they are inv investing in environments because mm. they are able to understand that they must conserve land because they'll be able to plant it. They, they need to understand that they mustn't do pollution like with the Phoenix project. Mm. That soap will be thrown and be waste. Yet with, with NXS, we are taking that soap and, and come to and, and build products and make products that are that are able to sell. Mm, well said. So, just to end this, how would you? Why would you advise the first year students to join NXS? NXS is a room for every student to to learn mm. and to be developed as a student. And guided by DUT and Vision Twenty Thirty and the program that we are doing as NXS, we are developing communities. So a student should be motivated or, or know that guided by individuality they must also think of their community that they must be developed because it's where we come from mm. hence we'll be creating jobs in up with with our mothers our grandmothers that they must start their businesses they must be able to take care of the land they must be able to to, to enter into farming considering the status quo of an, an of unemployment in our country mm. no thank you mr begwa uh, well said well spoken thank you so much uh, to the first year students, um, I think this is a very interesting program. Uh, not only does it help you grow, but the environment. As the interesting saying, as the saying goes, uh, charity starts at home. So this is a uh, program that focuses on the community. So it's a very interesting and giving program. Not only do you benefit, but, but people around you benefit as well. So thank you so much. Okay, before I end, uh, I would like to say uh, just after the, 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 the orientation, we'll be recruiting first years in our program. So we'll be having a link where students will be able to join and have meetings so that you'll be able to communicate with us in various projects so that they'll be able to ask so that they can join mm. NXS. Well, you've heard it here. Thank you so much. Yes, and with NXS, we have programs that are fair. We have prob solving problems that are well solving. Should you feel that we are not doing that, you are welcome to connect our social. Uh, thank you so much to our guests for coming here today. Basa Snigeza, all this information that we need um, to make sure we would see our stay at the Durban University of Technology is worthwhile and we are able to grasp everything that we can. From I, I think it's very sad. You know, he has a reason to I'm saying I'm going to to everyone, but you know, I feel like it should continue. Yes. <laughs> In fact, it's our last day of, yeah. the professional, of, the, of, the, of this program where we are sitting and, and looking at our presentations for, from all the speakers. But again, that's not the, the end of it. We still do have our day five where we are going to be having the sports department yes. giving us what is there for us to yes. see, see, see keep our bodies fit and also do our sports mm. as we we did in high school because yeah. some of us were active in high school yes yeah, so i think um with all this that has been happening throughout this orientation is that each department wants each and every one of us to get something from them to take the opportunity to our advantage. So Sasa, as we'll be having our sports department, take that and run with it as well. Mm -hmm. And we really want to be grateful to everyone that participated, to our students and parents and all our stakeholders. Thank you, thank you so much for being with us um, throughout this journey. So colleagues, let us not forget to use Izindo on time. We have a tendency of letting things slide and they come to a point where we can not control them. Mm. If you want to see a psychologist, you know where to find a psychologist. Yeah. If you want to go to the health department and get something sorted out or you have anything that you need to be sorted out in terms of your health, you know where the clinic is. Exactly. You go to entrepreneurship if you have a, any other business that you want to start. Yeah. Like know where to find your things, know your campus and know your university. So today we say it's pissed out and tomorrow our colleagues will be joining you again to say day five and at the UTC to see who's we've got you. We got you. Bye.